Good morning, my soccer universe. Well, let's talk about the games that I saw this weekend and a few other things. Um, the, I actually only saw one game where I had full attention to it and then half another because it was so much fun uh, that I also watched. But you know, my weekend went mostly into preparing the jersey reviews. First one will be coming uh, this evening. You will get. Liga jersey review uh, and also went into working on the kids room. I want to make them I want to make it nice so when they come back they have it ready and have a nice room. Completely revamped all for themselves. The parents are hopefully <laughs> less excited about it than the kids will be. So we'll see. Yeah so um, I actually the one that I watched with full attention was the last game I watched with my parents. Um, where, yeah, ahead of the big clash with Bruges uh, this week, actually tomorrow, I'll be there. Um, they rotated uh, eight players that they usually do not play, came in, and I have to say they acquitted themselves quite nicely, but still. Um, should have gotten at least one, if not two pounds in the first half. The referee did not see either of them for some reason. Um, it was not a good referee, one of the young ones. And then, yeah, they played against Swarovski Tirol. Uh, not the big Swarovski Tirol, this is kind of a small team from Wörge, which is a little bit east to Innsbruck. And they, you know, kind of said now that we are promoted, we call ourselves Tirol, so no, it's not a big team. They also don't play like, like a big team, I mean they actually held back and yes they had some dangerous counters and uh, they got the lead, first goal conceded of last this season, uh, right before the half. And yeah, second half, other changes and exactly the three players that usually play got exchanged for three other uh, players, so it was really every, everything about Champions League qualification uh, this time around, to have the players fresh, I'm not sure how much I overall like it, but maybe it's not a bad idea to do it that way, and especially since a small opponent. And yeah, they got the equalizer through Wiesinger in, uh, after a corner, he just put his toe at the near post and got it in. There were chances to win it as well, but young Sabitzer uh, couldn't convert and so it ends 1 1, first points drop. But given that we played with a second string squad, although I have to say they played alright, I, I think we would not be second in, in the league if we just played, if this was a star, starting 11, but I think we would definitely be among the top six with that uh, one. So that also is a positive for me. So 1-1, one, one, still in second place rather safely. That was the, as I said, the only game. I, I didn't realize that uh, Real Madrid played early on Saturday because I might have watched a little bit. Uh, they uh, Real Madrid won 3-1 and actually a certain Gareth Bale had his hand in this win. Um, what else did we have? We had, um, yeah, so a little bit German Bundesliga because I was early at my parents. My father had the uh, um, conference between uh, f uh, for the German Bundesliga there. I saw the, some Dortmund goals. I saw a Wolfsburg goal. Uh, I think I saw the winning goal for Leverkusen as well. So Dortmund 5-1 uh, against Augsburg. Uh, Wolfsburg 2-0 against Cologne. And there was um, 3-2 between uh, Leverkusen. I don't, I don't know it now for sure. So um, it was it interesting to see, but you know, although I live here, the German Bundesliga is not that appealing to me, to be honest with you. Uh, just I cannot tell you really why, but I've never been a Bundesliga fan. I always like the Liga, uh, especially Serie A and the Premier League more. Well, Premier League, um, I didn't see it because I don't have it. I cannot watch the Premier League, but at least I found a place where I can watch highlights. 
so happy about that. But um, the big clash was of course City against Spurs. City completely and utterly dominating that one. A uh, beautiful 1-0 by uh, Raheem Sterling, I gotta say, the, the way it was played. Um, but uh, Spurs get an equalizer out of nowhere with Lamela, kind of, um, you know, outside of the box, seeing that the keeper is not in a good position. And yeah, rounded around the defenders. I mean, it was hard for the keeper to see, but it's, that seems entirely avoidable, that goal. Uh, and then, yeah, um, City gets the lead again, 2-1 through Aguero, also really nicely played. I mean, City had chances for days, uh, completely dominated Spurs, but Spurs manages an equalizer in the second half, and thanks to VAR, um, was the right call. City did not get the win. Um, it was um, Gabriel Jesus who put it in, but there was a handball in the lead up. Now they say, yes, uh, the hand cannot be involved in scoring a goal. I don't know. Yeah. It's a very wide range into that. So, yeah, I think it was overall the right call to call that back. Uh, but I understand the City defense. I mean, again, against Spurs. Again, you're denied the winning goal uh, due to VAR. Uh, it must feel horrible. It must feel horrible. And you should have gotten probably a penalty in the first half. Uh, VAR did not intervene. What did I watch? I saw in the EF evening. I said, well, let's see what's on. And I just, while I was collecting, um, was collecting pictures for my jersey review, I just put on, yeah. Real against Granada. I didn't know exactly. I mean, first I saw the second half between Valencia and the Real Sociedad. I should talk talk about that first. Um, was interesting because I thought that uh, Real Sociedad it was nil nil at half. Had the better of, had more of the game, but Valencia completely uh, was always on the count counter again, rather dangerous. And uh, they get the one nil through Rodrigo Moreno. And looked kind of safeish, but they had to review this goal for some reason. Wait, wait, it was offside. It was actually from the first review clear that it was not offside, honestly. But you know, they took four minutes and that was uh, already added, added on time quite some. And in stoppage time, yeah, Valencia then hit the post um, towards the end of the game. Um, that should have probably sealed it and they had another chance that uh, they got a penalty kind of uh, maybe a soft pen penalty but it stood um, where they have the chance to double their lead no it's they don't know I think it was a 93rd minute they have a penalty it is I think it was a uh, shot wide even so uh, because there was a lot of discussions checking it yeah it was bad it went over the bar absolutely crazy and then still Real Sociedad not showing much, but suddenly in the 99th minute, and it was 8 minutes of stoppage time due to the penalty, there was a few added. So uh, they get a free kick in very good position, right and center at the edge of the box. And a uh, free kick is taken and it's defended by the hand, so they get a penalty and in the 101st minute, 1-1 one, one, Real Sociedad. It was absolutely crazy. And then I said, I put Via Real Granada on. I thought this was the. There were not really great games, uh, at least from from this, but boy, did I not regret having that one. Via Real Granada. Via Real takes a one 0 lead. Granada equalizes, uh, and I, as you will see in the La Liga review, the Granada uh, shirts are quite interesting, similar to the Athletic, just hooped and a little bit of blue in there. So um, that was really uh, interesting. I Again, of course, we via Real in their um, blue, uh, uh, in their yellow uh, jerseys. Sorry, traffic completely. Yeah. So, was an interesting color matchup, I have to say. Anyway, uh, via Real takes a lead that Granada uh, swiftly equalizes, and I think it was.
was the three real that takes another one. Uh, and after the half, um, no, it was one one at, at, at the half. And the Villarreal real again, nicely played, takes the lead again. Granada almost, uh, say, a few minutes later, manages to equalize again. Then two more goals by Villarreal. It is 4 2. And you think, yeah, that's gotta be it. I think it was around the 80th minute. No. Granada scores two more goals in very short uh, time. And so we have a 4 4 game. As I said, I did not watch too closely, um, but I saw all the goals live and I really was happy about that game. Uh, that I had it on because it was very entertaining. And that one, that could have used 10 minutes stoppage time. Uh, I think Granada at the end could have even won it. It was an absolute fabulous game to watch. Then, so that's ended my Saturday portion of watching. Yesterday, well, honestly, there was not much. I mean, I really want to see Atleti, uh, but they didn't play until 10 in the evening. So I only, uh, yeah, I saw most of it. Let's put it that way. But I was at the same time shooting my um, uh, La Liga jersey review. So yeah, didn't see too much, but I saw today the highlights. Uh, but a little bit later um, on that, I actually, while I was building a bed for my kids, I had um, Reims against Strasbourg on. Sorry, it was not the greatest game. Ended nil nil. Uh, better was then Sevilla against Espanyol. Espanyol against Sevilla, um, where Sevilla, you know. Take it, takes another shot uh, at it. Uh, maybe with Sevilla he will be more uh, successful. At least with Sevilla, given last season that they were the most frustrating team in La Liga, maybe there is a chance that he can actually do something. Um, Sevilla was the better team, got uh, the goal, and then they actually hung more or less back, and Espanyol really had a hard time of. Um, getting anything going, honestly. I think I won at most two, two chances, it was even better. And then, you know, uh, Sevilla expertly killed the game off. Uh, should have maybe converted uh, sooner, but in the, in the end they get, uh, shortly before stoppage time, um, they get their win and are off to a winning start. Espanyol looked so and so. Then I saw a little bit of Betis via Real. But didn't pay much attention to it, to be honest, because and then Atleti uh, playing at home to Getafe, which actually was probably the game of the weekend, because Getafe was fourth, uh, fifth last season, uh, Atleti uh, second, so that was actually quite quite a matchup. But Atleti more or less dominated it for most most of the time. Um, Morata gets the early goal, then there are two players sent off. I thought both a little bit uh, nitpicky sand sending off. I mean, one through VAR, where uh, yes, you pull him down at the half half a line, but I'm not sure if this was a red card. And then same when Atleti Lodi got sent off for Atleti Madrid. Also, didn't seem like a clear red card to me. Yes, the hand was in the face, but I don't know. Um, Joao Felic then has a great run in the second half and ends in the box with a foul. Morata can step up, make it 2-0. Nope, he doesn't. Um, because while he puts a lot of power behind his shot, uh, he's easily saved by the goalkeeper. Um, but, you know, except for a freak shot at the bar, there wasn't much coming from Getafe and Atleti is also off to a winning start. But, you know, the overall start of La Liga, we had the two Madrid teams were winning. Uh, Real Madrid probably the most convincing Celta. It's kind of expected. Atleti had a decent performance, although I really expect a little bit more of them because given the preseason, they seem to be in great shape. But you know, preseason is one thing. The season is a whole different story. Barcelona, of course, disappointed. And Valencia dropped uh, points. So maybe there is some excitement already going in La Liga this weekend. Uh, I also saw yesterday. I think Chelsea managed only a 1-1 against Leicester. Will be a rough season for them. Um, and yes, I cannot wait for um, Serie A to start next weekend. And Milan already has a horrible draw, Udine away from home. That's always a game that I don't like. 
Well, let me know what you watched this weekend. As I said, I watched um, Viera Granada in the second half. That one I watched uh, probably most closely. Um, and of course the last game, but other than that, um, it was more listening to it, but I got a sense for the game, so at least that's something. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, drop a comment below if you agree with my assessment of the games or games that you watched, how you see things pan out. As I said, tonight you'll get the first La Liga jersey review and I will also shoot, but this is probably then for tomorrow, kind of a whole league roundup, um, European roundup as I I usually do. So looking forward to that as well. Well, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.